If you felt overwhelmed with your finances, then this video is for you. Today I'm talking about four ways to simplify your finances. Hey guys, I'm Marissa and welcome back to my channel. Here we talk about how you can enjoy life and accomplish financial goals all through the use of a budget. So if you want to learn more about that, subscribe so you won't miss any new videos. When I talk to people who are new to budgeting or wanting to get their finances in order, one common theme that I see is that people try and make their finances or their budgeting situation is so much more complex than it needs to be. So here are four ways to simplify your finances, find more peace with your money and work towards your financial goals even sooner. The first thing to simplify is your bank accounts. I've talked to many people who have bank accounts at multiple different institutions and multiple bank accounts at each place. And that's where things get really complex. So rather than having like four different institutions that you're using for your banking, simplify it with one or maybe two. The way that my husband and I do this is we use our local credit union for our standard banking. This is where our income gets deposited every month and where bills get paid. And then we also have a high yield savings account with Ally Bank. And those are the only banking institutions that we use. And I think that this is a really great way for us to keep things simple. The only thing that we use our high yield savings account for with Ally Bank is for our emergency fund and also our tax savings because we wanna have that money saved and in a separate place where we're not tempted to touch it. And the other great thing about a high yield savings account is that it earns you extra interest than it would at a traditional banking institution. With Ally Bank right now at the time of recording this video, you can earn 3% on the cash that you have sitting in the bank, which is awesome. So it's a great place for you to just park your emergency fund. The reason why these banks are able to offer a high yield savings and have a higher interest rate to earn on your money is because they are not a brick and mortar kind of bank. They have very few expenses and overhead, so they're able to pass on that savings to their customers. Ally Bank is an online bank only, and I've been using them for a few years. We're able to earn interest on our savings, but transferring money to our banking with our credit union is only one or two business days away, so it's super easy. So with only having our emergency fund and tax savings at Ally Bank, all of the rest of our money that goes in and out comes through our credit union banking. And having only one institution that I need to be checking in on is really simple for our finances. That way I'm not having to log into multiple different banks and check my balance at all these banks and it just is really simple that way. As far as the bank accounts go with your banking institution, a great way to simplify this is to just have one checking and one savings with your primary bank. With your checking account, this is where all of the money for your household comes in and where all of your money goes out to pay all of your bills. It's really simple to just have one bank account where money comes in and out of. That way you are only having to look at one account. The next thing to simplify with your finances are the cards that you are using. Now, I am very passionate about budgeting, personal finance. I do not like to use cash. I'm totally a card person, but I still stick to our budget. And while I use credit cards, I've never paid a penny in interest because I treat a credit card like a debit card. I only spend money on it if I budgeted for that expense in my budget and I have the money in my bank account to be able to pay that off. We pay our credit cards off in full every single month. So all that being said, I do not think that credit cards are evil, but I want you to use them responsibly. If you are in credit card debt, I don't want you to use credit cards right now. Pay off your credit card debt, and I don't want that to be any sort of temptation for you. But if you're able to use credit cards responsibly and pay them off in full every month, then I think that it can be a really beneficial option for you to earn extra rewards and work on increasing your credit score. That being said, if you're getting started with credit cards and also, even if you've been using credit cards for a while, it's a really great idea to simplify the amount of credit cards that you are using. Things get more complicated when you have more cards and you're having to check in on all these different websites to see what your balance is. You're paying off multiple cards every month and things can just get a little more complicated when you have more cards open. So stick to maybe two or three credit cards that you're using regularly. Now, I am a fan of having multiple credit cards because they do offer different benefits. For example, we have a USAA credit card that gives us one and a half percent cash back. We also have an Alaska Airlines credit card because that comes with an annual companion fare that we like to use. And then we have the Costco credit card because 
we're now a family of four going to Costco a lot and that one made sense for us to have as well to get the rewards from the spending it there. So all of these different cards offer different rewards that we're able to utilize. But even for me being very passionate about budgeting, even three cards kind of feels like a lot. So I don't want you to feel overwhelmed with having multiple credit cards open at the same time. Stick to two, maybe three tops credit cards for you to use. Definitely pick cards that are going to offer benefits that make the most sense for you and your situation and your wants. I'm not against having a card with an annual fee but if it does have an annual fee you need to make sure that that is worth it for example our alaska airlines credit card does have a 75 dollars annual fee but we do get a companion fare with that credit card which we have to pay a hundred dollars for the companion fare so i'm looking at that credit card saying i need to travel at least once a year to take advantage of this companion fare and we need to go somewhere where the ticket is going to cost me more than 175 dollars the companion fare fee plus the annual fee of the credit card if I can make that happen, then that credit card makes sense for us. And again, make sure that you're using those credit cards responsibly and paying them off in full every month. The third way to simplify your finances if you are married is to combine finances with your spouse. I know that this can be a big topic of debate, but hear me out. When my husband and I got married seven, yes, yeah, seven years ago, <laughs> One of the first things we did when we got home from our honeymoon was go to the bank to open a joint checking account and we combined our finances at that point. From that point on, we've had joint checking and joint savings with our credit union and we both have access to all of our different accounts with our credit cards, with our primary banking with our credit union, and then with Ally Bank as well for our high yield savings. During the last seven years of our marriage, both my husband and I have both worked in some sort of capacity. So his income and my income goes into that joint checking account and that's what we use to pay all of our bills. I know that some couples like to keep things separate and he may have his own checking and so does she. Maybe they're even banking with different institutions, but that's where things get pretty messy and difficult to maintain, especially when you're trying to budget as a household. I know some people may say, well, he covers the mortgage and this type of bill, and then she covers all the utilities and eating out and vacation. And that definitely can work from some people, so I'm not going to discount that, but I feel like it can get pretty messy pretty quickly when you're trying to make sure someone's taking care of one thing and someone's taking care of another, and you don't have a full picture of what's going on with your spouse's finances. You can do what works best for you, but in my case, I'm viewing my life as being married to my spouse as we're combining all of our lives together. We have children together, we have a house together, we might as well combine our finances too. And that's made budgeting a lot easier because instead of viewing it as his money and her money, it goes into one bank account and together it's our money and that's what we use to pay all of our bills and work towards our financial goals together. And the fourth way to simplify your finances is to create a budgeting habit or routine. As I shared here on my channel, I talk a lot about budgeting and all the how-tos of how you can create a budget. I'll leave a link to a video like that up above here. You can check it out. And I have tons of videos here on my channel that you can check out in regard to budgeting. But building a budgeting habit is really going to simplify your finances. Now you shouldn't be scared of a budget. A budget is simply a plan for your money each and every month. And the habit of budgeting may look like creating your budget at the end of the month for the next month and then checking in with your budget periodically. For us, this looks like me sitting down every Sunday to enter in all of the transactions that I have in my budget. That way I'm keeping up with the transactions as they go through the month and at that time I'm able to adjust my budget if necessary. For example, let's say that we're halfway through the month but I've spent three quarters of our grocery budget. At that point, I can evaluate my grocery budget and see if I need to increase it, which means decreasing another budgeting category, or maybe I decide that I need to eat through the things that are in our freezer and our pantry because we don't have much more to spend on groceries for the rest of the month. Getting in the habit of budgeting may take about three months, but let me tell you, it is so worth it. And setting habits like creating a budget every month and checking in with it during the month are really important habits that will simplify your finances and make you less overwhelmed.
And if you're wanting to start budgeting, but you're not sure where to even begin, I have a course all about that. It's called Budget to Your Dream Life. I will leave a link to it down in the description box below. This is a go at your own pace video course. And in the course, I walk through how to create your budget step-by-step step, and then how to optimize it to fit your lifestyle and work towards your financial goals. So those are four ways for you to simplify your finances and hopefully that'll help you to feel less stressed when it comes to money so that you can work on your financial goals and enjoy your life a lot more along the way. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you are not yet subscribed and I will look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye. About to leave. I 